Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're going to take a look at downloading some alternative maps to load onto our compatible Garmin watch. This is colour maps that we're going to download for the United Kingdom in this example from a website called Toki Toaster. The watches that we're using today are the Garmin Phoenix 7X and an Epix 2 watch which we'll show at the end of the video so you can see what the maps look like. These two watches both come preloaded with Garmin's TopoActive European maps if you've purchased the watch in Europe. Great maps that cover all of Europe, but not quite as detailed as the Ordnance Survey maps that we're used to in the UK when we're out walking and hiking. So just as an alternative, we're going to show you the Toki Toaster maps that they're not Ordnance Survey maps, but they do have some of that same detail that we're used to seeing on an Ordnance Survey map. So it's a great alternative to the maps that we already get on the Garmin watch. And with these maps, they are digital maps like the Garmin Topo Active maps. So when you zoom in, they stay nice and sharp and clear. There'll be a link at the bottom of this video and that'll take you directly to the site we're on now where you can purchase and get the map that you require. So for the example today I'm going to use the United Kingdom and um, the British Isles as an example. So this is the website you'll get taken to from the link that we put below the video and if I scroll down I can just click on one of the countries shown here to pick the map that I want. Well, there's actually a drop down box where you can select. So I'm just going to hover over the, um, the British Isles and Ireland here, left click with my mouse <coughs> and then I get given a choice of ways to download. The example we're going to use today which is the one we tend to do ourselves is the automatic download at the very top and that's where we'll simply get a download straight to our computer and then we can use that file to put it straight onto our compatible watch. There's other alternatives here where they can be sent out depending on if you're putting it on a handheld GPS device or you want various other options when you look down the full list. But we're going to stick with today the one that is automatic download for us to put directly onto the watch straight away. So when I click on the automatic download map, we'll then get taken to the next page where we have some options of the two available for the British Isles. So I'm just going to scroll down the page and you'll see at the bottom there's two options, £11 and £13. The difference is the £13 one has elevation data built into it. We prefer to have it with elevation data for the sake of an extra couple of pounds. So we're going to go for the one for £13 with the elevation data built in. So if I left click on read more, get some more information on the map and the option to pick what type of device you've got and add it to the basket. So the screenshots you can have a look at to see what the map actually looks like. So you've got a full list of the units here that it's compatible with and I'm just going to look for my Phoenix 7X which is the watch I'm using today and what type of computer am I using? A Windows computer you can add some protection where you can up to a year you'll be able to re-download the map. I'm just going to leave that off and go for the £13 and simply stick add to cart and that will go to the cart where I can then go and pay. So again I'm just going to scroll down here on the screen and you'll see again if we go to the bottom here information about the map and you can see top right of the screen it's shown it's now been added to the basket got a little red cross if I want to take it back out of the basket so I can go to view basket or simply check out so if I go to check out and then just scroll down this is where you add in information and um, your address etc how you're going to pay any extra information and place the order once you've placed that order the screen will go straight to an option where you can download the map, but you also get an email from Toki Toaster. And on that email, it simply has a link that says download map from here. And when you click on that link to download, you'll then get in your downloads folder a zipped file with the map. So we've actually already purchased this. So we've literally went through, already put our details in and done the purchase. And you'll simply get an email from Toki Toaster. And on that email telling you that the orders went through, it has a link that you click on that simply says download map from here. And as soon as you do that, I'm just gonna show you where it goes. So on a Windows computer, I'm using File Explorer, which is the little yellow folder at the bottom of my screen. And I'm going to go straight to the folder 
downloads. So it's just locating your downloads folder on your computer. And you can see here, this is what was downloaded earlier, a TT50 British Isles and Contours. So this is the Toki Toaster map and it is a zip file. Most Windows computers will have an unzip um, application on your computer as standard because we do need to unzip this folder. What I'm going to do just for ease, I'm just going to actually right click on here and I'm going to select the show more options because I'm using a Windows 11 computer and select copy. Normally on a Windows 10 or an older Windows version, when you right click on a folder in your downloads, you should see the option copy straight away. So I'm just going to left click on copy, minimize this screen down, and I'm just going to right click on my desktop just to paste the file onto my desktop. So I've just went show more information, show more details and select paste. And this file will now be on the desktop of my computer. So I'm just going to drag it into the center here. And if I right click on it, I've got the option extract all because it's a zip file. I need to extract the file to get the image file that I'm then going to drop into a folder on my Garmin watch. So I'm just going to left click and select extract all. I'm just going to get it extracted to the same location that I am at the moment. You get, you get an option here of where do you want to extract it to. I'm going to stick with the same location. And once this file is extracted, I'm simply going to go into the folder and I'm going to copy an image file and I'm going to drop it straight into my watch, which I've currently got connected to my Windows PC. So we'll show you that. And then once we've got it on the watch, I'll um, show you a comparison, a separate video showing it you on a Phoenix 7X watch and on an Epix 2 watch, just so you can see what the maps look like. So I've now got a new folder appear on the desktop of my computer. I can see it's not a zip file. It hasn't got the little zip icon, which the zip file has. I can get rid of that one in a moment. So on this new folder, if I double left click on it, just to open it up. What's nice, you actually have a map key as a PDF. So I'll just double click on the map key to show you that. So there's a nice map key that you can print off or keep saved on your computer that has the key for all the symbols and icons on the Toki Toaster map. Just minimize that down. And what we've got in here is an image file. So it's this file, the 220723 TT50 British Isles and Contours disk image file. So if you look at the size of this one, it's 1,328 kilobytes. So it's just over 1.3 um, megabytes there. So it's not a massive file. If I right click on it, actually, I'll just get the properties up. I can see a show more information and properties and you can see there sorry i said megabytes i meant gigabytes sorry it's actually 1.26 gigabytes that is important because you've got to look at what space you've got on your watch or device that you're going to copy it to so it's 1.26 gigabytes so i'm just going to close that down now and i'm simply going to right click on it to copy this image file and on a Windows 11 machine, I need to go show more options. If you've got an older Windows system, you normally see copy straight away. So it's not copy as path. It's the option that says copy. So I'm going to select copy. And because I've got my watch plugged in with the USB cable that it came with, if I go to this PC, which you find from your file explorer on your computer, I can see my Phoenix 7X connected simply going to double left click on the phoenix 7x it shows me my internal storage i have 4.24 gigabytes free i've already got other maps that i've downloaded hence i've used a bit of space up so i'm just going to double left click on internal storage and we're looking for the folder simply called garmin double click on the folder called garmin inside my phoenix 7x and i'm just going to scroll down underneath all these folders and i'm just going to right click somewhere on a blank space select show more options and select paste again if you've got an older operating system than windows 11 normally when you just right click on a blank space within a folder you should see the option paste straight away and when i left click on paste it'll start copying this image file from the Toki Toaster website directly into the back end of my phoenix 7x watch once that's complete just wait until it's complete 
I'll unplug the watch and then we'll show you what it looks like on the watch. And I'll also get an Epix 2 watch alongside so you can see what it looks like on the Epix 2 watch. If I decided I wanted to remove it from my watch, just be careful. If you are going into the back end of your watch like we've just done here, into the folders using File Explorer, you could locate the file called TT50 British Isles and simply delete it. Remember, you've always got a copy on your computer. If you've copied that folder on your desktop, you can always copy and paste it back onto your watch. We will be doing a separate video showing you how you can do the same process if you have a Mac computer, because on a Mac computer we have to use a separate program on the Mac as the Phoenix 7 and Epix 2 watches and Phoenix 7, um, sorry, Phoenix 6 watches aren't automatically detected with the Mac as standard, so we have to use another bit of software as well. But we will have another video we'll be loading onto YouTube showing you how you do it on a Mac. So please remember at the bottom of this video, we have got a link to this website. And if you click on the link we've put under the video, that would be great. And it'll take you straight to the website where you can purchase and download the map. And thanks very much for watching. Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training, just part two of the video where we showed you how to download Toki Toaster maps onto your compatible Garmin watch. I've now got two watches alongside each other. I've got the Epix 2 with the white band to the left hand side and I've got the Phoenix 7 X Sapphire Solar to the right hand side. Both of these have got the same map on which you can see. This is the Toki Toaster map. So it's just to give you an idea what they look like on the two watches. So I'm just going to move this one slightly further up and I'll move this one further up and just let it reload and get them to a similar position. And again, you can see the sort of information we're seeing buildings on them. The little red dashes are the footpaths. If I move it to the right, and I'll just move this one to the right. And we're just going into some more urban environment with some streets marked and buildings. And again, I'm just going to move this one over again. So we're in a similar sort of position. You can see different types of colouring on the Epix 2 because it's got the AMOLED screen. So it is a bit more vibrant on the colours. I can actually see symbols here for gates. So you do actually get gates and styles marked on the map. We do have field boundaries marked. So as I move it over to the right, we've actually got some field boundaries on the map. I'm just going to zoom out on both of them just so we're not zoomed in quite as close just using the buttons on the side and then I'm just going to move them a little bit further see if we can give you an example of some contour lines as well so you might not be able to see it that clearly on the video but there is contour lines on the map as we move it you'll see the colours here a lot more vibrant on the Epix 2 but still really nice on the Phoenix 7 X it's still a nice detailed map. So it's just to give you an idea of what it looks like on the two units. So I'll just do one last move over here. We can see a few more contour lines starting to appear. It just gives you an idea of how it looks on the two different watches. And then I'll just get that one so it's at a similar place. So I'll just move it there. And you can see we're in a very similar place here. The field's starting to appear at the top left. You can see the field boundaries on both of the watches. So we know it's not an ordnance survey map, but it does have more detail than Garmin's built-in topo active maps. So what I'm gonna show you now is a couple of settings that we change on the watch so that we can use these maps. So I'm just gonna put the two back to where we currently are by hitting the back button on both of the watches. So regardless of which watch you've got, the Phoenix 7 or the Epix 2 that I'm using, there's a setting we've changed to turn off the European maps and make sure the Toki Toaster ones are enabled. So I'm actually using the map setting which I got from the start stop button. So I'll just give you an idea of the map setting first. So I've got the touch screen enabled. With map shown as highlighted, I'm just gonna press the middle left hand button in to go into map settings touch on map settings, touch on map, and where it says configure maps, the top option, you'll see topo active maps I've got turned off. And if I scroll down to the Toki Toaster, they're turned on. We do the same for each of the profiles that you want to see a different map on. So if I was to scroll to say my run profile as an example, there's my run one. If I press the middle left hand button to go into run settings, select run settings, 
I have to change what map I want to see. So for different activities, you can have different maps configured. So if I go configure maps, topoactive maps, turn on the European maps that come preloaded with this watch, scroll down to the Toki Toaster and turn them off, hit the back button, and then what you'll see on this watch, if I go into run as if I was doing an activity, and scroll down to the map screen, we'll actually see Garmin's Toto Active European map compared to the Toki Toaster map on the right hand side on the Phoenix 7. I'll just hold that up so you can see that a little bit clearer. So it's Garmin's Toto Active on the left hand side and it was the Toki Toaster on the right hand side. The other setting we like to change is the detail level on the maps and you do this exactly the same for both watches. So I'm just hitting the back button to come right back out to the watch face. From the main menu when I'm on the watch face holding the middle left hand button in I'm just going to scroll down till I see the settings and in settings I'm just looking for the option map and on the map settings as I scroll down you'll see one of the settings you can see whether you want to see contour lines things like that but one of the settings is detail and we've got the detail level set to high that is normal and less so we do recommend if you want to see more information on the map setting that to Hi, but I hope you found the video useful just on a comparison on the maps. I'm just going to actually load this one back up so we got the Topo Active Garmin one. So at the minute, we've got the Garmin map on the left hand side on the Epix watch, and we've got the Toki Toaster map on the Phoenix 7X watch. But we hope that's just give you an idea what the maps look like, how you change the settings, and how you get those maps onto the watches. And thanks for watching.